Hey guys, this is JJ with Express Workshops. This week we're going to use the Perspective Crop Tool to create custom textures inside of Photoshop. Okay, let's get started creating some custom textures using the Perspective Crop Tool inside of Photoshop. Uh, first thing is if you're not familiar with the Perspective Crop Tool, uh, you need to find it first. It's over here where the Crop Tool is. You can click and hold that tool and you'll see that the Perspective Crop Tool is the second tool in the bunch here. So we'll click on that and um, I'd like to just kind of show you quickly how it's normally used. I have this photograph here of the street sign that was taken um, you know, looking up at it and in a 3D um, kind of a space, or actually a 3D space. And I would like to make it a 2D space so I can make it flat, but only one part of it here. So I can click here and just quickly go in and tell Photoshop that this is the perspective that it is now. Now, once I've made that selection, I can go in here and move these points if I need to. I did a pretty good job on that, so don't have to adjust too much. And then once I've done that, then all I have to do is go up here to the top and click the check mark or push enter on my keyboard. And quickly it just flattens that into a, a to-do space. So let's actually do some fun stuff with it. That's, that's the normal way of using it. So what I want to do now is I want to go into some other textures, like this texture of the stump you wouldn't think about. Uh, necessarily using it as a texture or creating a texture from it. Uh, same thing with this picture that we have here from uh, a parking lot. It was just a photograph that I took with my cell phone. Uh, first let's go ahead and work with this one. So same thing as I did with the other one. I'm just going to click here, grab some of this texture, and I'll grab about that much of it. And again I'm going to go ahead and click the check mark at the top. And you see now it's flattened into a nice texture for me. So I'm going to go ahead and drag this texture that I have here on top of a caricature that I did some years back. Guy on Spartacus, if you Spartacus fans are out there. And I'm going to go ahead and just resize that texture, say OK. And then I can just go over here and pick one of the um, blend modes. I'm going to pick this time like a soft light. And then I can bring the opacity down on that and get kind of a cool light. Now, you can go here and pick any of them. Like uh, a lot of times a vivid light will work on that. You just got to bring the opacity down. So anyway, just any way of making a custom uh, texture for yourself. So uh, let's go back to the other one that we had. Here's a stump, and like I said, you, you don't really think about using these 3D kind of uh, views for a actual texture. But if you use the Perspective Crop Tool, you can click here, about to there, bring that into perspective, click OK, and there we go. We have a nice flat texture with lots of, of uh, contours in there. And same thing, we'll go ahead and bring that into this composition. I'll go ahead and get rid of this one underneath. All right, same thing, I'll go ahead and size that up, say OK, and change the blend mode on it. I'll try Vivid Light. Ooh, that's pretty crazy. So I'm going to bring that down. And then as you can see, I've got a really neat looking texture for my painting that I have. And again, you can go in here and try all the different types of blend modes to make that work for you. Okay, so that is just a, a kind of a out of the box thinking of how to use the perspective crop tool um, inside of Photoshop. Um, Make sure that you subscribe to my page. Hit that like button if you like this tutorial. And I will see you next week. Thanks.